Hey everyone, Chadwick Strange here, VP of Product at Scale. Uh, let's get into it. This is uh, next week uh, or this week's DAP and code updates. I want to walk you all through what it's like to use the Scale IMA bridge um, or the Ethereum Scale bridge called IMA. It's been a long day. Um, and I want to walk you through how that works with uh, ERC721 or NFTs. So, hey, let's get right to it. Awesome. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a cold code. Uh, well, a code sandbox um, that I've made uh, similar to the one that you've seen before. Um, and this is basically a collection of, uh, it's a React app with a collection of Web3 uh, transactions that's allowing me to send transactions to Ethereum Rinkeby and a uh, scale chain. Um, and so just for a review, the scale IMA or Ethereum scale bridge is composed of a set of contracts that's uh, deployed on Ethereum and a set of contracts that's deployed on each scale chain. So I'll be accessing some of these already. Uh, and just by way to, to speed things up and make this video short, I've already pre-deployed an ERC721 on Rikabi, and I've already deployed one on the scale chain itself. Um, I pulled in the ABIs to access the um, IMA contracts on Rikabi. Same thing, the pre-deployed contracts on the scale chain. And then I have loaded the uh, NFT contract on Rikabi. And I've taken that contract and deployed a clone of this onto the skill chain. So the skill chain is aware of, of that contract itself. Um, over here, you'll see the UI. Um, it's showing the balance of this NFT contract. I've got two here on Rinkaby. I've got some ETH, and then I have um, some stuff in the community pool. More on this later. And on the skill chain, I currently have no, no, um, no NFTs transferred. I got the contract over there, but nothing. And then the contract on the skill chain, I've assigned the mentor role to a special contract called Token Manager, which mints clones of this token or mints this token as tokens are passed into or deposited into the bridge. Um, so, hey, let's just get to it. I'm going to click deposit here. What that's going to do, it's going to kick off uh, this um, Web3 transactions. I'm going to do an approve and then I'm going to do a deposit method. So, I'm going to access this method and deposit box called deposit ERC721. I'm passing in the first argument as the skill chain name. Um, remember, skill network is many, many chains. It's a multi-chain network. So I need to tell the bridge which uh, chain to send or deposit this token to. So I set that up here. I pass in the ERC721 address on uh, Rinkaby and the account I want to send it to. And then, of course, the mint ID for the NFT. So I'm going to click deposit here, this deposit. Then it's going to send that transaction over to Rinkaby. So we're going to have to wait here for this transaction to be mined. And again, we're going to see a first transaction of approve. Then we're going to see the deposit transaction following soon after that. So there we go. There's the approved transaction. Again, nothing happening yet because I haven't deposited the token. But once that's mined, it's going to kick off the deposit transaction soon after that. When the second transaction hits the council, there, boom, balance uh, was reduced by one. And then let's see when the uh, when it's cloned on the skill chain. Should be any second now. Boom. Mint token was just minted on the skill chain itself. So I've effectively deposited into the skill chain this NFT. Um, now let's do the opposite. Let's do the withdrawal. So we'll do an exit transaction. So similar to deposit, I'm going to be accessing um, the token manager contracts on the skill chain itself. So I'm going to hit a, an approve. And then I'm going to hit the token manager with the exit to main ERC721 method. And I'm passing in, again, it knows that I'm sending it to mainnet, so I don't need a chain name. Um, and then I'm passing in the address on Rinkaby, the account I want to send it to, and then, of course, the mint ID I wish to send. So let's click this, and you'll see as soon as I click this, it will be almost immediately mined on the scale chain. And then, boom, mined, approve, exit. It's been... Um, reduced by one, and then the agent, which is the containerized service on the scale nodes, is presenting that transaction to Ethereum Rinkaby network. So again, now we have to wait for that transaction to be mined on Rinkaby, which should be pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so those are the methods. Boom, it was mined on Rinkaby. So there you there you see in the whole video, we can stop there. Uh, we first deposited near C721 from Rinkaby onto one of the scale chains. And we Again, we assigned it the scale chain name because scale chain, scale network is a multi-chain network. We got it onto the scale chain in a matter of seconds. 
And then we exited the uh, exit transaction. We pulled it from the skill chain. We withdrawed it back to Rinkaby. The agent presented that transaction to Rinkaby. Transaction was mined. We did a token transfer within uh, to and from the skill chain um, with you know the length of this video. So we'll end it there. Um, in future videos, we'll go through other aspects of the bridge. There's plenty more to unpack. It's a super flexible bridge, super modular. If you want more information, go to scale.chat to join our Discord. Uh, if you want to dive into the docs, scale.network forward slash docs. You'll see all the documentation about the bridge, how to get a skill chain, uh, all the aspects of the skill chain. So dive in, check it out. Enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye.